Okay, race fans, today I am going to play some golf. There's eight of us today. Uh, where am I playing at? Heron. Haven't been up there in a long time. It's next to Pelican. There's two of them right there together. It's up by the village of um, Buttonwood. And I think St. Charles. It's a little bit of a golf cart ride, but I can be there in about 15 minutes. Not a big deal. Um, Pelican, for those golfers out there that's considering to buying down here, Pelican right now is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, nine-hole executive golf course that's here. As you well know, the residents' um, executive courses are popular because they're they're basically free. Um, you don't have to pay. Uh, green fees or anything like that. If you walk the course, they're absolutely free. Doesn't cost you anything. If you drive your cart on um, an executive golf course, which I do, it's uh, four dollars every time you uh, play. Or as a resident, you can buy a six month or a one year trail fee pass. Basically, they add it to your. Um, residence ID card. So as a full-timer, I pay the yearly fee, which is like $140, $144. It's right, it, something like that. And if you figure $4 at every time you play, you play three times a week, it's a no-brainer. So I paid 140 bucks a year. And then all you got to do is when you go up there after you made your tee times, wherever you, you play, you're showing your resident ID card, and he'll look on the list. It shows on there that you're already prepaid, and then that's it. So 140 bucks a year, and I can play all the executive courses I want. Um, and that's one hell of a deal, especially for the state of Florida. You won't find much of a better deal anywhere. So we're going up there, and um, we're going to play Heron. I don't put Pelican in anymore. Um, I don't mind playing it once in a while. You know, I think you got to be challenged once in a while anyway to uh, um, test your skills right so but I got uh, two or three guys on the eight guys that I play with that um, if if we get approved for Pelican I can expect an email almost immediately from them telling me they're out and then I gotta look around and find somebody to take their place and it just gets to be a big pain so I just don't even put Pelican in anymore but I like playing it once in a while it's basically a golf course, nine hole golf course that's in the middle of a swamp. <laughs> so, if, you know, if you're not real good at, at the hitting the ball continuously and regularly and hitting it basically straight, you're probably going to lose a lot of balls in the swamp. So, they just don't like playing it. And I lose balls there, but I still enjoy playing it. It's a beautiful course. So, anyway. We're going to get our shoes on, get our cart packed, get my beer in the cooler. That's the most important thing. Make sure I got some balls and um, we're going to head out and we're going to play Heron today. So if I get any video of Heron, I'll try to post it on the uh, uh, YouTube channel sometime in the next couple of days, which I will take some pictures over there, just depending on how good they turn out. So till then, I'll see you on the course. I didn't want to hit your camera. No, you can hurt it. I need to get some pictures out here. I've never had pictures out here. Yeah, number nine could be a problem too. I remember this. I've lost balls in that swamp. <laughs> 
saw was the end one off of two hitting three. A little beer action. You hear that? This is the holy shithole. <laughs> How many yards is it? 137. 137 over a swamp. Wow, I hope you can see one, it. Man. It's uh, that pin right there. This is all what we call shit each. It's just a swamp. What was it to the center? 142. 142 to the center. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll see. Heron's a beautiful course, though. Tons and tons of Spanish oak. Beautiful. 156. This is Heron Golf Course. It's rolling country. It's a lot of uh, natural preserve. All of this land here is natural preserve. Any of the red stakes you see that's got the green tips, you're not allowed to cross it if you lose a ball out there. If they catch you, they'll warn you. If they catch you two or three times going out there, they will actually suspend your privileges here as a resident uh, for a certain amount of time as penalty, like, you know, six weeks you can't play or something. Alan's in a sand trap over here. As you can see out there, there's next to the last hole we played. Beautiful, beautiful swampy area. And I like the way they keep some of the preserve intact. After all, the animals were here first. Nice, nice sand shot, Alan. Is that you right there, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Al, I'm showing how it's done. Left. Straight. Okay, good game, Ryan. <laughs> okay. I gotta get pictures. Good, okay, good game. Go, Sean. You going to Evans? Uh, yeah. Okay. 